Before we start this video, I need to make sure that you can enlarge a shape with 0, 0 as the center of enlargement. And remember, 0, 0 is also referred to as the origin. So, I would like you to tell me where this side is going to be in our new shape. So, pause the video and work out where this is going to end up. Remember, we count across and up, and then whatever our scale factor is, we multiply both journeys by that. So pause the video now. So well done if you said this side of the old shape will now be here. And look, firstly, the old shape, that's one, and the new shape is two, so that's a scale factor of two. And also we use the origin as a center of enlargement. So usually my journey would be four and then one. So I've gone eight and then two. So that's this vertex. And then five and one. So I've gone 10 and two. And that's this vertex. Now as this shape is fairly straightforward to draw, it doesn't have diagonal lines in it, we can now easily finish off the new shape by inspection. This side is three, so this will be six, this will be six, two, four, and four. If you didn't follow this example, then I suggest you go back to the video entitled Enlargement with Center Zero Zero. If you understood it, then let's move on. Question. Enlarge this shape by a scale factor of three with one four as the center of enlargement. So this time, we're not enlarging our shape at the origin, zero, zero. We've been given a specific coordinate. So the first thing to do is to mark this coordinate on your axes, one, four. So there's my center of enlargement. Also to note, what is the scale factor? It is three. So this shape, needs to get three times bigger. We're going to do the same process really that we did from the origin, but this time we're just going to count from our new center of enlargement. Let's start with this vertex here. So we're going to count across, one, two, three, and then we have to go down one. Now everything needs to be multiplied by three. So we're not going to go three along, but we're going to go nine along which will take us to 10. And then we're not going to go one down, we're going to go three down. One, two, three. So this vertex is now here. Well, now we've got this vertex, we can now draw the rest of the shape by inspection. Usually this side is four long. Well, the scale factor is three, so the new shape that side needs to be 12 long, which will take me to here. This part of the triangle is three high, so my triangle needs to be nine high, which will take me to here. Well, now we have this bit drawn, I can simply add in the diagonal by joining up the two vertices. Remember, to check, we're going to draw our ray lines on, but this time the ray lines will come from the center of enlargement, which is one four. So we draw those lines on, and we can see they all match up. And if you were to measure this, and then to this, it would be three times longer. Here's our final example. Enlarge this shape by a scale factor of two, with negative four, negative two as the center of enlargement. Firstly, I've drawn on the center of enlargement. You need to make sure you do that when you're answering these questions. Well, now I would like you to tell me where this vertex is going to be in our new shape. So you're going to do this distance and times it by two. So where is this vertex going to end up in our new shape? Pause the video now. Well done if you said this vertex is going to end up here. My original journey was five, so I need to go 10 along, which will end here. I'd now like you to tell me 
where this vertex is going to end up on my new shape. Pause the video now. Well done if you said here at 8, 0. The reason it's here, well, there's two ways you could have worked it out. We could have counted 6 in, 1 up, so 12 and then 2. Or we could have done it by inspection. This vertex to this vertex, we usually would go 1, 1. So in my shape, I'd need to go 2, 2. Always different ways of working out the same thing. OK, finally then, pause the video and tell me where this vertex and this vertex end up. And then we've basically answered the question. Pause the video now. Well done if you got this vertex being here at 10, negative 10. And then there's two ways to find this vertex. You could have simply counted 2, 2, because this is 1, 1. Or you could have done your journey all the way across and all the way down and then doubled it. Final thing to do is to check with our ray lines coming from the centre. So we go through here, here, here and here. And as we can see, they match up perfectly. If you want to measure the distances, that's another way of checking your answer.